A simple swap could be your key to discovering where you came from and potential health issues. That's why sales are soaring for DNA home testing kits. But to get those answers, you could end up signing over some rights. Just check out this consent form for Ancestry.com. 2,905 words, 98 paragraphs. Reading time, 10 minutes, 34 seconds. Did you read all of that? Oh. No. <laughs> you didn't read the fine print. No, I don't read fine print. <laughs> I suffer the consequences later. For Carol Mason, who was adopted at birth, the privacy risk was worth it. With Ancestry, she found her birth father's family in just months. Very happy that I found a first cousin. It just gives you a feeling of completeness, like you know what your heritage is. Millions of Americans have DNA samples stored at labs for companies like Ancestry and 23andMe. That information is aggregated, your name removed, and then it's turned into databases. Why? Money. What types of companies would want to buy my DNA information? At insurance companies, uh, medical testing companies. And here's why that should concern you. That information can be used by others to make decisions about employment or insurance law prohibits insurance companies from using genetic information to discriminate, but that does not apply to life insurance, long-term care, or disability providers. Popular 23andMe advertises health information, so I dug through their terms of service to find that they don't even sugarcoat the risk. Quote, genetic information you share with others could be used against your interests. Maybe who your grandparents, great-grandparents were. Drew so Smith, a USF genealogy your... expert, believes those those risks are low, but says anytime you share your personal data, you expose yourself. There's no 100% guarantee it can't be hacked, it can't be obtained. But again, is that a con we, those are concerns we make when we do banking online and when we do a lot of things. There is always a risk. So are DNA answers worth a risk to your privacy? Well, Carol will tell you it depends on who you are. You take your chances. I mean, what's the payoff? There's so for you, it was worth the risk. It was worth the risk to me, very definitely. Ancestry.com and 23andMe insist they don't sell their data to third-party companies and researchers without a customer's consent. It's also important to note that you can opt out of sharing your information with other consumers that may be your genetic match. I'm Shannon Bankham for WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on.